Hi everyone, I am Rihanna here from SNIT Adur. Here we are discussing the subject Civil Engineering Project Management for 8th semester Civil Engineering as per APJ KTU syllabus. We are on the revision part. We are discussing the module 1 that is Construction Project Management. In the previous class we have discussed about the basics of Construction Project Management. That is what is a construction project, what are its unique features. What is construction planning, what is construction scheduling, what is a work breakdown structure, etc. We have covered in the last session. And today our topic of discussion is methods of scheduling. We know that there are different methods of scheduling uh, used in construction project management. They are bar charts, milestone charts and the network analysis including critical path method and program evaluation and review technique part so today in this session we are discussing about bar charts and milestone charts bar chart a bar chart is a graphical representation of project activities shown in a time scaled bar line with no links shown between the activities it is introduced by henry grant around 1918 ad a bar has two coordinate axes, one representing the time and the other represents the activities to be performed. Each bar represents one activity of the project. The beginning and end of each bar represents the time of start and time of finish of that particular activity. The length of bar therefore represents the time required for the completion of that job or activity. Next is the components of bar charts. The bar chart has a horizontal axis. It is constructed to represent the total time span of the period. This line is broken into increments to deficit days, weeks or months. This timeline illustrates when each activity starts, how long it continues and when it ends. The second component is the vertical axis. It is constructed to represent all the tasks related to the project. So, a bar chart has a horizontal axis as well as a vertical axis. The horizontal axis represents the time, which may be represented in terms of days, weeks or months. And in the vertical axis, it represents the various activities in a particular project. The activities are shown as bars. Next is the steps involved in development of bar charts. The first step is divide the project into various activities. Second step is fix the sequence in which the activities are to be completed or fix the logical sequence of the particular project. Assign the duration of time for the completion of each activity. The fourth step represents the above information in the bar chart indicating the relative positions of each activity. And in the fifth step, obtain the total completion time by summing up the completion time for the individual activities. So these are the stages involved in the development of a bar chart. Next is the advantages of bar chart. It is easy to construct. It is a time scaled one. It gives earliest completion time. Bars can be dashed to indicate work stoppage. It provides a schedule of earliest possible start and finish times of activities. It can be loaded with other information such as budget, manoeuvres, resources, etc. Next is the disadvantages of bar charts. The first disadvantage is a bar chart does not show the logic. It gives only one possible schedule, that is the earliest possible schedule is obtained. Not practical for projects with too many activities. This bar chart is not practical for the project with too many activities. It does not show whether the project is behind the schedule. Since it does not show the logical relationship, we cannot predict whether the project is behind the schedule. It does not demonstrate the effect of delays in activities. 
the second method of scheduling is milestone charts. Milestones are tools used in project management to mark specific points along a project timeline. These points may indicate events such as project start and end date or a need for external review or input and budget checks. Each main task contains some specific points or milestones in time which can be recognized and through which controlling can be achieved. Each milestone can be considered to be specific event along the main activity or job or task. This chart is therefore called milestone chart. Each milestone is represented either by a circle or by a square and it is serially marked. So milestone chart is a chart which is made up of this milestone. Usually a milestone is in the shape of a circle or a square. So, so hoping that you have understood what is bar chart and what is milestone chart. These are one of the primar uh, primary methods used for methods of scheduling. Bar chart as well as milestone chart is very important and compare the features of this bar chart and milestone chart which may be asked in university question. In previous year questions it is asked for what is bar chart and what are its the advantages and limitations and in one question paper it is asked the uh, differences between bar chart and milestone chart or the comparison of bar chart and milestone chart. So you have to study what is bar chart and what is milestone chart and what are its differences and comparisons. Okay, thank you. Stay safe.